I'm curious, what would you say is the event in your life that's changed you the most? It's pretty simple. Uh, when I was six years old, I lost part of my right leg to cancer. And uh, when it happened, the doctors gave me a 35% chance to live, and I was able to beat those odds. How does a six-year-old boy accept that he's going to lose part of his leg? I had no choice. I think that's what it came down to. I mean, when I was wheeled into the operating room, I was, uh, my parents recounted the story afterwards that I looked down at my toes and said, goodbye toes, and then I lost my leg. So, I mean, I think you just had that survivor instinct in you. How did you get through childhood getting through the little things, the little changes like puberty, like adolescence, like dating for the first time? I guess it's one day at a time. Um, I mean, the hard part is anytime you get sick, anytime something hurts, you just think that what if, you know? You hear stories about people who had cancer and then it coming back at some point down the road. I don't want to be one of those statistics, but I can't live my life in fear that something like that is going to happen. I just have to live my life as if I'm happy to be here for now and do the best I can. I started swimming when I was 15 years old. I swim butterfly, so there's different disability categories. And um, in 1998, I won world championships. And it's an extremely um, proud accomplishment of mine because it was something years, years, years in the making. Tell, tell me how you got that uh, that resolve. Well, I think that uh, I was always scared of people seeing my leg outside the pool. I used to walk around with sweatpants on because I didn't want people to see my artificial leg. But it was like something switched. Like As soon as I walked through the pool deck, I didn't care if I had one leg. I didn't care if I was hopping around, jumping in the pool. I felt in the water no different than somebody with two legs beside me swimming. You start to realize that uh, people accept you for who you are if you accept you for who you are. What would you say?